Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another run through today. I'm going to do a review uh, and run through uh, and we'll go through a lot of the rules. Um, so let's try it again. Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to go through a run through and review of Hansa Teutonica. There we go. So, uh, this is a really good uh, Euro game. Um, it's got fairly light rules, uh, but we'll go through it. it it's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, let's just get started. Okay, here we go. So, um, we'll go through what is actually uh, here. Uh, Everybody uh, is going to start with a board like this, and you're going to fill it up kind of in that uh, Terra Mystica um, setup, uh, where there's certain columns uh, that are basically abilities that are going to be filled, and you have access to the first ability. Uh, so, and you're going to fill them up with these cubes and these round things. These cubes are called traders, and these are called merchants. Um, the rest of the names, I have no clue because, well, I'm not German, and uh, it's really hard to pronounce these uh, various different elements of the game. Uh, for instance, these things are called to, to somethings, Tontora, I don't know. They're, they're going to be cities for us. And these are going to be trade routes. So, and each city, you know, means there's all over the place. And then you've got these special uh, ability, uh, special actions that are bonus actions. Uh, and there's three of these that are going to be placed out on the board. One, two, and three on these special little areas uh, that are adjacent to routes. Okay, so we've got three of those. There are more, and on the other side, it's actually a plate of food, for some odd reason. Uh, and you can see that these are gray, and these are yellow. So the yellow ones will go out first. Now, this is, I think, the third edition of this game, so uh, I know that they've redone it so it, it's a little bit more uh, color-coordinated, and it's easier to, to kind of understand what goes first. So the first ones are these three yellow ones. Um, and they've done the same thing with the boards. These special roots have special actions. They're uh, colored uh, yellow. So there's one here, one in each corner. And um, yeah, one here and one here. Um, so the, the point of the game uh, is to establish or, or to get prestige points by establishing roots and, and basically getting uh, uh, a route built uh, from a city to, from, uh, to another city. And once you do that, you can claim, um, uh, you know, that you have presence in one of these cities, right? So you kind of uh, take your guy and say, okay, this is... This is a trading house, and he's going to stay in here. And you would do that by placing one of your your um, your guys in there, and that's permanent once uh, they go in a city. Um, so that's the, the what you're trying to do. There's also other actions where you you you'll do the actions to 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 take things off your board and get more actions and stuff like that. So um, we will explain all that. Um, but let's start with uh, how many traders you get. So this first player is going to get five traders. And he's going to fill up his board except for one spot each. And he's going to get also one uh, merchant. Then the, the second player in clockwise orders would get six of these guys. And then the next player, seven and eight and so on. Okay. Uh, and on your board, I'm going to explain uh, what these do. On your board, you've got your various action, uh, your variabilities, and then you've got uh, five sections. Is it five? 
Yeah, it's five. Five actions that you can do on your turn. But first I'm going to tell you about this. So, this basically tells you exactly how many actions you get on your turn. So at the beginning of the game, you get two. So two actions. Then, if you ever get this removed, you can get three. And then three, and then it goes to four, and then four, and then finally, you can have up to five actions in a go. If you ever clear this out completely, by the end of the game, you'll get four victory points or prestige points for having that cleared. Uh, what this allows you to do is this will allow you to get more um, traders and merchants into your supply so you can use them. So over here, you can see that there's a general supply. And I can pull some of these guys out for an action. And it tells me that at the beginning of the game, I can pull three out uh, for an action. And if this is gone, then I can pull five out as an action. And when I pull those five out, I can pull an assortment of traders or merchants. It doesn't matter. I can pull whatever I want from the general supply. I'll get to that action. But this is basically what this indicates. If you ever uh, complete uh, or get all your traders off this uh, ability, you'll uh, at the end of the game, you'll get four prestige points. Okay. Here, this is all about movement. So there is a movement action, uh, and you can only move two spaces. If this is removed, you get three. If this is removed, you get four, and then five. So you can move, this is all about movement. And if you clear them all out, you're gonna get four points at the end of the, the four prestige points, sorry, um, at the end of the game. This, is basically the privileges. Right now, you can only build in uh, white cities. So let's look over here. Remember the cities are all these kinds of things. So you can see that I can right now build, the first player, uh, if they ever build, they're gonna to have to start here. Then the next player would start, uh, so would go to the next column to the, uh, the right and so on. So when somebody, finishes a route, they'll put a cube here, but if you, you can only put a cube there if you have the white, and everybody starts with the white. And once this gets removed, well that means that, hey, uh, you, can, you can do white and orange. And then, as you improve this ability, you'll be able to even uh, place on black, okay? And once again, I'll explain that, I'm just, exp you know, getting you familiar with the board here. This is about um, victory points and building city routes. You're going to count up all your city routes uh, in, a, in, a, in a, a row, right? That a constant or a, a connecting series of cities uh, and you'll multiply it by the number here. So you just multiply it by one first and if you went all the way over here, you'd be multiplying it by four, which is, which is nice. So that's end game points. And then you've got a little plate here, so you can put your um, your special actions, okay? So, that's what the board does. So let's talk about these actions and what these actions do. Because this is basically it. There's five things you can do in the game. It's pretty simple. The first action is, like I said, you can take uh, traders or merchants from your... Um, supply or the supply so right here it says takes three five seven or all and remember there you go that's it five seven and that c means all okay so i would come over here and take well i can take three so i could take that that's my oops, that's my turn so there you go one turn done uh the next turn that you can do is you can place, right? Remember, you only have two turns at the start. So you can place uh, a, a, a trader or a merchant, doesn't matter, on a route anywhere. And you can see right here, if we go nice and close, it has a square and a circle, which means that I can go, hey, boom, or I could use a merchant. And I'll t explain why you would use a merchant. Merchants are a little bit more powerful um, 
for a particular reason of an, a kind of a nasty reason. So we'll talk about that. But uh, you can you can place here. Now that would be just an action. Bang one. Okay. So now I, I would theoretically be done. The next person goes. Uh, you know, and it's back to me. Let's say somebody somebody created a root here. Boom boom. Okay. Uh, and those was that was uh, Red's two actions, uh, and off we go. So it's back to me, uh, and I want to complete this route, and um, I want to actually get a guy in here for no other reason that I just want to. Okay, so I would get two more uh, actions, and for those actions, I'm going to take my two cubes and go bam, bam. Okay, so my actions are done. Okay. Uh, now it's Red's turn, and Red is going to do another action, so he's going to take his his merchant, and he's going to place it here. Okay? Okay. Um, so, uh, Red has one more action, and Red is now going to do the next action. So we've talked about this action, we've done, been doing this action, and now uh, Red is going to do... Um, this action. We're going to skip. Um, and this action basically is you're completing a route. And you can see that there is a route completed from here to here. Uh, so, when you've got an action and you've got a filled route, you can complete that route. And how you complete that route is that you're going to remove the, the traders and merchants that are there, uh, and then you're going to do a couple of things. And the things you're going to do are, first one is, uh, uh, prestige points are gained. So, if there is somebody here or here, for instance, if I was there, I would get a victory point because you completed a route and I am in charge of this city, okay? I have dominance in the city. If I was here, and red was here, red would have dominance of this city because red has the, the most cubes and or is the furthest to the right. So he has the black spot, which is very powerful. Uh, I have the white spot, so he would have dominance here. So red would get a victory point and I would get a victory point and we would move ourselves up on the victory point track. Okay, so that's the first thing that happens when you complete a route. Okay, now for argument's sake, we haven't gotten there yet. So, uh, red or blue or anybody else would not get a point because no, there's nothing there. The next thing we're going to do is uh, you obtain a bonus marker if available. Well, gosh darn it, there is one available. Shucks. So, right there, we've got a bonus marker. And this bonus marker is going to allow you to swap out, I think, uh, merchants for uh, tradesmen, uh, or traders, sorry. Uh, but you're not, he, Red's not going to use it right now, okay? So, Red's going to put it there, saying, face up, saying, hey, I've got this, but I can use it at any time as a bonus action. Uh, so, that's the next thing. Um, then red is going to take another one from the supply and he's going to put it right here to indicate that he has to put it out somewhere else on the board. But first we're going to finish this up. Um, then the person, uh, the red has an option. Red can either, uh, do nothing, right? Because if this was all full, you would just take these away. Um, or he can build a building here. And he has to take it from his supply. And let's see, he can go here or here because he's got white, right? And I would say he's going to go here because nobody else can go here. But somebody else can go here. So I think this is more important. So... He's locked off that, and as soon as that happens, we take these back, and they go into the general supply. So to get these back, he's going to have to do this action, all right? The first action we talked about. And now this trader 
is permanently in uh, this city. Um, and he's, he's there for the rest of the game. And any time anybody builds another trade route and takes their guys away, so for instance, if I did it, right? Boom, boom, boom. And I did um, complete a uh, trade route, and I took this away, and let's say I built a guy there, red would get a, a, a victory point for that. Now, I wouldn't get a victory point because you place your guy after the victory points are given, if that makes any sense, okay? Okay. Um, next, uh, we've talked about the bonus markers, all that kind of stuff. So, um, this kind of goes on, um, but we have some special areas uh, like this one that are a little different. So let's let's talk about that. So let's say on my turn, um, yeah, this is a good one to do. Uh, I go here and here, and then my turn's over because I've only got two actions, and you know it's back to me. Red goes, red goes somewhere, and red goes boom and boom, and I go red. You're such so cute. Red's going to go back here. Uh, red, you're such a jerk. You've just blocked me, right? And now this is where the game gets juicy, uh, because for me to complete my route, I got to get red out of there. But red has done something. He's blocked me, uh, knowing that he, I'm going to push him out. And this is what this action is. I can push uh, any guys out, right? I can push a trader or a merchant out with a trader or a merchant, okay? But here's the caveat. I've got four guys here left. Uh, it's my turn. I'm going to use one guy to push this guy out, all right? Boom. But then I have to take another guy and drop him into the general supply because I knocked red out. Then red gets to take his guy and place it on any adjacent route. Okay? So he, this is an adjacent route, this is an adjacent route. Uh, so he would move over here. Plus, red gets to take from the general supply one of his traders or merchants and gets to place it down as well. So right there. So he gets two actions by placing one action. And that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, and he could spread that out, right? So he doesn't have to just go in one column. Plus, if this is all full and this is all full, he can, he can actually go to another route. But you can't decide, oh, I'm going to go to a route over here. It has to be adjacent. And if the route, all the routes are adjacent, all the, all the routes that are adjacent are full, then he can't. He, uh, sorry, he, he has to um, go to another route. Okay, so let's, I screwed that up completely. Let's say that again. So let's say all of this is filled up, all right? So now red has the option of using his, uh, his two guys that are his guy that got pushed. He couldn't go in this, he couldn't go in this. So now he has a choice of going here or here. Makes sense. Okay, moving on. So that's quite interesting. Now here's another really good one. Let's say red actually put a merchant and this is where the merchants come in and the, their, their power. Uh, when a merchant is there, for me to push this guy, I not only have to use my guy, right? Push him out. And discard another uh, trader into the supply. I have to give up two. So that means for, for basically one action, I have to give up three guys instead of one. It's huge. Plus, now this merchant gets to move off and go somewhere. So let's say this was on. Uh, this is not here. Do 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 do. So he could go here, and he gets two more guys from the supply to place out. So bam, bam. So this is really like you don't necessarily want to put this on a place where you want to go. You want to put this in the way of somebody. So that person has to use 
a lot of merchants uh, or traders uh, to get them out of the way, and you get two extra actions of placing, which is amazing. Okay? So anyways, let's say uh, uh, that's all done with. Uh, it's back to my turn. Uh, I've got this route almost completed. I just have to complete it. So I'm going to complete it. And I pull it off and these go into the general supply. But this time I don't want to put a, 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 a trader uh, onto a city uh, or a merchant. If you notice these round circles mean that only merchants can go here. And only if you have the orange uh, privilege or the purple privilege. Um, so, but instead of putting any, uh, putting uh, dominance into a city, uh, what I'm going to do instead is take the special ability that is um, connected to this particular city. And what this particular city does, it is allows me to come over here and take one cube off of my uh, board uh, and put it directly into my supply so I can use it right away. And look at that. I've gone from two actions to now three. And that happens right away. So it is officially my turn and boom, no it's not, I've got another action. Now I get three actions per turn, starts out right away and now I can place this guy. And you know what, I'm not even gonna place this guy, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get, oh, let's see, three more workers and I'm gonna get one, two, three, three. Okay, done. So that would be my turn, okay? So, uh, what are the rest of these special actions? Well, um, that one's difficult. Let's go up here. This is the big one that I like. So this is the big one, getting extra free actions, and this one as well. And this one says if you, if you fill up one, two, three, um, you have your choice again. You can take them and place a guy if you have the color. And if you notice, this particular one has a special ability. It has a one there, which means that you get one victory point right away when you place it. So, you place a guy there, or you take the special ability, which is to come down here and take a cube off of the bags and place it directly into your supply. And every time you take more traders or merchants, you're going to immediate, uh, you're going to get five instead of three. So there you go. Okay, so the next special action that you've got here is to remove cubes from this section so you can get the uh, privileges of building in different colored cities. Uh, this one is you get to remove one of your merchants and put it in your supply uh, and you get to move more, which I haven't spoken about yet. We're going to get to that. So, um, this is kind of important, this action up here in the corner, because you only start with one of these guys, right? And like I said, this is, this is a good way to kind of either block people, say, hey, you know what, don't go in here because I'm, there's no way I'm going to let it go. Or to push into somebody's, to push into somebody's way, right? So knock some, or go here and then that red has to knock me out. So, um... That's quite an important action. Uh, the next one uh, is over here. And this is kind of interesting. So, to get this, what you're going to do is you're going to fill this whole trade route up. Like that. And then, if you have a merchant in this trade route, you can, once again, you have a choice. You can either, you know, build... Um, accomplish a trade route and build uh, the guy, your guy in your city and remove these. Or you can remove these and this slides up to one of these depending on what color you have. So let's say if I had that I obviously would go for the higher one, right? 
And unlike buildings, I can't build here until this is built. Well, here, I can go and I can build it right to the, uh, the 11. And so this guy comes up from the trade route and goes to wherever, so let's say the 7. And these go back into the general supply. And now, at the end of the game, I get 7 points. Now this is important. I don't score these points immediately. And the reason for that is one of the end game uh, conditions is the first person to get to 20 ends the game immediately. So this does not count to that. This is after the game. And you can have multiple of these, right? So you, as a, a particular color. Okay, so that's that one. And moving on over here. And this one gets you the keys. So if you fill this up, you get to remove one of these keys. And these um, keys will let you uh, score points and then multiply. This is the multiplier. Um, so what is a multiplier? And what, what, what am I talking about here? Well, for every city... Um, that you have a connection to, and it doesn't matter if you're in the lead or not, so red could be in the lead here, right? So if somebody built a route from here to here, red would get the, the victory point for this city, not blue, because blue is not the ruling leader, red is. Um, but when we go to end game scoring, uh, this is kind of important. Let's do this. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this and this. Okay, so there we go. So, I, blue is in one, two, three, four, five connected cities. They're all connected. They're all adjacent to each other. So that means five times whatever my keys are is the victory points that I'm going to get. So, five times two is uh, ten. So. Uh, blue would get 10 extra victory points. Plus, he would get anything right here as well. Um, plus, every token, uh, extra bonus token that he has, that's used or unused. So once you use it, you just flip it over like that. If it's unused, you just leave it like that. Um, and I'll explain how these work. But when you... Uh, when, at the end of the game, these are going to be worth a certain amount of points depending on how many you have. And that's right over here in this column, which isn't too brilliant. But if you have one, you're going to get one point. If you have two to three, you're going to get three. If you have four to five, you get six. Uh, six to seven, you get ten. Uh, eight to nine, you get 15, and if you have 10 or more, you get 21 points. I don't see how somebody could do that, but wow, that's a lot of points. So that's uh, pretty uh, amazing. Plus, you get the points that you have on your column here at the end of the game. Okay, uh, and there is one more condition, uh, which is, let's see here. Okay, so there you go. Uh, also, for each city, uh, city that's controlled, so for instance, red controls this city, red would get two victory points for that. Okay. The other thing is, now there's another way to score points. There's this red city and this red city. If you connect, like uh, blue has right here, in a single, this can't even go there, right? It's supposed to be like that. There you go. Um, once you connect these two cities together, the first player that does that immediately gets seven points. The second player, if they, the second player does it, gets four, and the third player gets, I believe, two points. Um, so, and those are scored right away. Okay. So that's basically it uh, for the scoring. Uh, each city is scored. Yes, we've done that. Uh, controlling, yes. Uh, added prestige points as indicated on the prestige point track, yes. Yes, uh, bonus markers. Uh, of course, you keep the prestige points you got on the victory board. So that's it. Done. 
Um, so, that is basically uh, the game. I do have to go through uh, movement. Yeah, let's do movement. So, um, the other action that you can do, because I've actually done this action, this action, this action, but I haven't done the move action. And the move action is basically, I could theoretically move. So let's say, uh, no, let's use red. I'm all over the place today, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm, not, I'm not on my game. So blue needs to get out of here because he's really, red is just refusing to kick him out and his guy's just sitting there and it's, it's useless. So uh, I can move any person for one action, three spaces. So I'm going to look up here and I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to move them. And I go one, two, three. Or I could, you know, one, two, three. Doesn't matter. But I could do that. And I, each action I do, I can move things away. And this is important because there's a finite amount of traders and merchants. So if you get into a position where all your guys are on the board, well, you know, you're stuck. Uh, and you're going to have to use that action to, you know, move around, okay? So we pretty much talked about everything. It, it's not a super complicated game. It might seem like it, but it, it, it's not. Um, winning conditions is the first person to get to 20 points, or if uh, 10 building or cities are f filled, like, for instance, this, this city is full, so we would raise that up one. Um, and there is another condition if a person cannot place another one of these out on the board. Oh, I haven't talked about that. So you know how Red got this uh, bonus token? After his uh, action, he's going to take this bonus marker and now place it on another trade route that doesn't have one. And he's going to flip it over and there's the arrow. He's going to point it to the arrow on the trade route. It does not have to go on the starting area where trade routes start from. Uh, which that the, the one he took was there. It can start uh, anywhere. So he can choose any trade route and say this is the trade route that this applies to. Okay. Um, do I have... Did I forget anything else? I don't know. Um... These, if, if somebody uh, can't put one of these out because they're already gone, then the game ends as well. Okay, so there's three ways for the game to end. Uh, the board has a double-sided board, uh, so this is for two to three players, and the other side is for uh, up to five players. So there you go. I think we've got all the rules. So what is this all about? Uh, let's have a chat about what I think. So what do I think about uh, Hansa Teutonica? Um, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> because mostly there's like cubes. Oh, I could eat you. Um, no. Uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, it's 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 fun, you know, really deep game with simple simple rules. Um, there's a lot of take that uh, which I like, but it's not direct. It's not like oh, I'm going to destroy your army. It, it's something that if I do something to you, you can ignore me, or you could you know do me a favor and get rid of me. There, it's not like I'm completely screwed you. It's just that you know I've. I've slowed you down a little bit, uh, which is nice because I don't like completely destroying people. Um, I like the bonus actions. We haven't really talked about the bonus actions, but what they do is a lot of them is to swap things or to use the merchant that you place to actually put it in the city instead of having one from your supply uh, or, um, uh, oh, I like these ones. These. These ones right here. Focus! Focus! Uh, three extra actions. So, just immediately I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, I've got, you know, 
six turns now, so I'm going to take, you know, my sweet time. Now, talking about sweet time, it doesn't take a lot of time to do these actions. You've, you know, you start with two, or you could even have five, but even with five, it's usually, like, I mean, with any good pl players out there that, are, that don't suffer with too much AP, even, and even with the people that play uh, with AP, it's just like one, two, three, uh, four action, I've done my four actions, I'm done. That's it. Like, I mean, there's not huge amounts of thought that is that's going into to, to the game, but there's a lot of tactics. That's the word, tactics. Like, you, there's, there's a lot of, mm, do I do this, do I do that? It, not as much as, you know, um, the other game that kind of reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Hands of Teutonica, which is, I know people are going to say, this is weird, but um, Terra Mystica. Um, it's got the same art and stuff, but it, it's very different game. But th these boards kind of remind me uh, of it, and I get a little bit of a feel. Um, but it's very different. It's, it's so much lighter. So, so much lighter than uh, Terra Mystica. So a lot of people think, I think that a lot of people thought this was a fairly heavy Euro game. And I don't think so. I think it's a a fairly, you know, simple root building game that has a lot of tactics and 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 interaction and, and depth, but without huge rules and and complicated, um, you know, yeah, rules. Um, so let me just get this. It it is definitely a game that I'm keeping. I really like it. It's in its third print run. It's going to be available uh, uh, soon or now. Um, and I don't see it going out any time. It's already had three print runs. Um, and I really, I really enjoy it. And, it, and it's quick. It, you know, you can get through it within an hour. Uh, the art, I really enjoy. I mean, if you come down here and have a look. Um, you know, it's, it's, I like it. You know, you can see, you know, all the rivers and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's neat. Um, rule book absolutely sucks. Um, come on, guys. Like, there is a section in here all about, uh, you know, connecting the two red cities. Uh, and you get seven points. Uh, and if the second player does it, they get four points. And if the third player does it, then he gets uh, two points or whatever. It's nowhere in the book or at the end of the book. It's exactly in the middle, I think, of this paragraph, somewhere here, hidden away, you know? Um, never to be seen again. I, I mean, I, I read the rules, I, we started playing, and I'm like, somebody had a question, and I'm, I was sat there for like a quarter of our game, and we're quick, we're quick players, right? You know, trying to look through the, the rule book, and also, I mean, I, I like the theme, uh, you know, that people put into games, but this one, it, it, I think the theme was really just... German names of cities, and I couldn't pronounce any of them. Uh, it was fairly hard. I don't even know what they call cities. They call them k-somethings, uh, and I can't pronounce it at all. I mean, that's my problem, not the game's problem, really. Um, yeah, I like it. Certainly do. Art's good. Rule book sucks. Uh, good Euro theme. Like, I mean, there, I guess there's a theme. Um, if you complain about Euros not having themes, okay, this definitely is a game that doesn't have a huge amount of theme. But you are doing these routes, and you are connecting them, and you're building in cities. Like, I mean, how, how much theme do you really want on cardboard? Um, so, and I love these. This is cool. Like... The, and I know Terra Mystica does it, and everybody loves this Terra, but, you know, the actions and revealing actions, and you get better, and you're leveling up, but 
in Hansa Teutonica was one of a, a, a few games that really prominently featured this in Euro games before you know it became hugely popular to do it, uh, and I really like that uh, about it. Um, so this is this is a lot of fun. And saying that, I mean, talking about strategy in the game, I've seen. Guys, almost every time I'm, see, you know, it's weird when you in front of a camera, you always do the wrong finger. Anyway, guys always go for opening up the more the, the more actions right there, more actions. And yeah, it seems like an absolutely good strategy. Get your five actions, pound them out, and you know uh, you're good to go. You've got all the freedom in the world. But every time somebody's done that, by the time they finish it, somebody is already at 11 points and they're not catching up, right? They're just like, it's, it's, I'm sure it can be done, uh, but you cannot be isolated in this game. You cannot shut your, the, you know, the world out and just go for one thing. There is a lot of interaction in this game and it's subtle. Uh, and you have to be watching people and and seeing what people are doing and kind of go after the leader and and it, it you know uh, I usually don't like these games, but I really like this one because it's a little bit more subtle It's not just you know hitting people over the head with a sledgehammer um, You can Get in people's way, but you don't have to hurt them, right? So uh, really like it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked my video, uh, please give me a thumbs up uh, or um, sub subscribe to the channel uh, at Board Game Nation. Um, and we will see you next time. And comment, okay? Let me know what you think of the video. Thanks a lot.